Hello. Welcome. Um, I recently purchased uh, a couple more of um, Cullinane's tarot decks. I love her artwork. And I thought I would do a reading using one of them. Uh, it's uh, Grunlikin's Curious Cats. Uh, I love the deck. And I thought I would just see what the cats have to tell us for this new moon that we're experiencing. I have my manifestation, my moonology manifestation cards. I have the Grimlikin's Curious Cats and the Pagan Cats. Let's just see what Spirit has to tell us for this reading. Whoa, if I can shuffle. <laughs> Anyway, I just want to do a general reading using these cards, having some fun, and see what spirit has to tell us through the cat cards. Here, guys, let me just get a quick view here. Spirit. What do you have for us, please, spirit? What is your message to us here? Coming up on this, this new moon, the second new moon, by the way, for uh, April. What do you have for us, Spirit? What is your message? All right, and our first card. Find a balance. Find a balance. I like that. Are we balanced in the things that we do? Um, are we keeping life balanced? I do have her book here. Um, I'll look it up and see if we can Moon in Libra is page 92. Let's see what the book has to say. Focusing on your own wants and needs is understandable. We all need to look after ourselves. However, this card suggests you need to find a balance between what you need versus what someone else needs. Walk a mile in their shoes. Once you understand where they're coming from and why, you can take action. If you've been through a worrying time, including regarding your health, this card reminds you to find the right people for help. Make up your own mind about your situation rather than being too influenced by others. Find a balance between your own needs and what you do for others. If we're giving too much of ourselves, we become depleted. If we're not giving enough and we're being more self-centered, we're not contributing to the collective. Remember that we're all co-creating. So getting other people on your side by being understanding is a win-win. Let's um, pull out the cats. Beautiful deck. I love the back of it. It's pretty. The cats all on it. It's a gorgeous deck. And I've already cleared all my space, shuffled cards. I do that before every reading. I actually do a triple clearing. So I use Reiki. Um, I smudge. I use sound. And completely clear my space before beginning. So let's see. Spirit, what do you have to tell us through these cards? What is your message? This coming new moon, Spirit, what do you have for us, please? Ooh. Eight of Cups. Beautiful card. Thank you, Kat. Is there something you need to turn your back on, perhaps? Something you need to walk away from? that no longer serves. Let's see what else we have here. Pretty spirit that I can just go to the other. What else do we have? Oops. These are very slippery. <laughs> I have her crow tarot and the cards are not as slippery nor as big as this. So these have been a challenge to shuffle. But they are absolutely gorgeous. There we go. Spirit guide, can just go to creator. Oh, okay, there we go. Another card. Um, we have the tower. The sudden change. Um, 
something coming in, and this is a change that has to be made. There's no choice here in this. There's a change that needs to be made. We've got the Eight of Cups letting go of something, the Tower, which is a sudden change. So perhaps this is going to be some kind of release that is going to uh, alter your life dramatically. Something's going on here. Let's let's see what else we have here. Spirit, I think just got a couple here. Let's pick another card here. Oh my God, here what we have? Oops. Not that many. Oops. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, um, there's a whole ton of cards here. Okay. Let's try this again, shall we? All right. Spirit guys, I'm just gonna create her. Please choose one more card. Not a whole bunch of cards, please. I need one card, please. One. Again with the bunch of cards. Wow. Um what are they? Interesting. The lovers, the ten of swords, the queen of pentacles, the ace of swords, and the ten of pentacles. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, here we go. Sorry, guys. I'll get it right. I'll get one card. Like I said, they're very <laughs> slickery. <laughs> I'm just running to shuffle them. There's one card. Okay, this is a good card. The Page of Cups. An offer coming in. Get that glare out of there. Um, there is something coming in. Perhaps the change, this event, this letting go, this change is going to put you in a position to be open to that offer. Let's see what else we have here. No. Okay, this one jumped out, so we will take it. This is the Two of Swords. Gaining the clarity. Gain the clarity you need to make that decision. Uh, Whatever is being offered, take the time to become clear on what you want, um, on whether it's beneficial to you. Go inward. Get in touch with uh, your inner knowing. Gain the clarity you need to make that decision. Let's take one more card and then I'm going to pull some clarifiers. Okay, we got two more cards, <laughs> and I think I will take them. Um, let's just, I'll change the atmosphere. Okay, we have, wow, okay. The two of swords we ended with, with gaining that clarity, going inward. We have the key, queen of cups here, that tapping into that intuition, She's very intuitive. She's very compassionate. She's in touch with those inner emotions. Very, very intuitive, clairvoyant. Use those intuitive abilities to discern your decision. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, she's independent, abundant. Um, she creates wealth for herself. She's very confident organized. I like it so far. Let's see what the pagan cats have to say uh, it, to clarify. Let's clarify this message a little bit, please. Um, sorry, I know you can't see the cards. Um, here we go. Really? Sorry guys, I don't know how to shuffle. Or, I don't know how to shuffle. <laughs> okay, here we go. On the Eight of Cups. Spirit guides, angels, God, creator. 
Let's clarify the Eight of Cups, please. What do we have for the Eight of Cups? Can you tell us about this Eight of Cups, please? Ooh, we have the King of Swords. King of Swords. Using your intellect. Um, understanding wisdom. What do you need to walk away from? Use your intellect. Wow, I'm just like klutz deluxe today. All right, here we go. Good, 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 good. What else do we have here? And we have the Eight of Wands. Release what no longer serves. Use your intelligence, your intellect, your knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Um, gain that moving forward and things will begin to fall into place for you. Things are falling into place. There is movement toward um, whatever it is you're seeking here, whatever it could be you're walking away from something and doing your own inner healing, a relationship you need to walk away from, a job you need to walk away from. Whatever it is, when you use your intelligence, your intellect, gain that wisdom, that understanding, that knowledge, and move forward and walk away, honoring yourself and your truth and your heart, your desires, things begin to move and fall into place. Uh, take another one here. And again, with the, the Two of Swords, gaining that clarity, gaining the clarity you need to make the decisions you need. The cat is blindfolded and relying on intuition, on that inner voice, that knowledge and understanding. Go within. What do you need to release and walk away from? And we have this tower, which is this moment, this sudden change. Um, perhaps this realization that you not need to walk away is going to bring a sudden change in your life. You're just all of a sudden going to just decide to do uh, what's right for you. And follow your intuition and your intelligence make that decision to make that change and then we have the king of wands passionate fiery energy what are you passionate about perhaps that's what it is you're letting go of what no longer serves you what you're you're not happy with um, and moving toward your inner passions, desires, aspirations. Wow. We have the Four of Pentacles building those strong foundations. Rebuilding. <laughs> Rebuilding something here. New, overflowing, abundant beginning. This card is overflowing with abundance, blessings, peace, intuition. Awesomeness. This page of cups here. This um, offer coming in. Something coming in for you. That good news coming in. And then the Two of Wands. Making that decision. And moving in the direction that you know is the right direction for you. There is something positive coming in. And then we have this Nine of Swords. Are you spending time, too much time, perhaps in your head, uh, worrying, 
perhaps others are in your head, <laughs> uh, helping to create some of that worry, those negative thoughts. Sometimes when we seek to do something out of the norm, those around us get a little uncomfortable. They will say things, they will question it and make you question yourself. Is that happening? Is that happening? Let go of that worry. Don't be consumed, consumed by that worry. Um, this is your time to shine. It's time to live your truth, to shine. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can see that. This one's kind of hard to see. Um, it's the sun card. Oh, very much um, is in your favor. It is your time to shine. The universe is smiling down on you. The two of swords down here, gaining the clarity to make your decision. The clarity that you need, the wisdom that you need. Then we have another page of cups. Good news. The off it is definitely coming in. Definitely something positive coming in. It's kind of good news, huh? With everything that we've been enduring the last couple of years, we all need that good news to come in. We all need that positive. We need to keep a positive mindset. And we have the Ace of Swords. Gaining the clarity to move forward and um, gain those blessings, the victory. Gain the clarity you need, making your decisions and move forward. Discern the offer that's being presented to you. Discern. Uh, now we have the Ten of Pentacles. The outcome is abundant, prosperous. Um, this is more than just financial abundance. This is uh, family, home life. Definitely a positive offer, a positive news. Something positive coming in. And then we have this Queen of Cups where she's very intuitive. And she's got the fish in the cup, just like the page. What are you doing with that offer? Are you going inward, getting in touch with your intuition? Using your intuition as your guide. That's really cool. <laughs> and the Ace of Wands. Are you inspired? Is that inspiration coming in? Um, I know it's hard to see these. Um, get in touch with that intuition, that inner fire. <sighs> okay. And now we have this page of swords. Definitely something could be inspiration coming in, an idea coming in. You have this good news, this offer. Positive news. You have the page twice. Page of cups. And then you have this. You've got the ace of swords. Perhaps this is a time of releasing, walking away from what no longer serves and completely changing your life, living your truth, shining your light, taking advantage of those opportunities that present themselves, those, that good news coming in, that clarity coming in, that intuition, that inspiration, and putting it into action. We have a ten, now we have the Ten of Swords. The end of something. The 
end of something. There's an ending to something. But where there's an ending, there's usually a new beginning. So perhaps there's a need to put an end to something in order uh, to take um, these opportunities Find that balance, go within, find that balance within. Balance out your life. Allow a universe to flow and bring all these good things into you. Release what you need to let go of. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles, the abundance. And then here we have the King of Pentacles, abundance, prosperity, security, confidence even. Um, what else do we have here, please? And then we have the Hermit card. Are you taking the time for solitude? Um, for going within, getting in touch with spirit, uh, with your own inner knowledge, wisdom, understanding, gaining perspective so that you can be a light to others and, and light the path for others. When we um, do our own inner healing, our own inner work and follow our true path, we are a light to others. We, we light the way for others to follow theirs. Perhaps that's what this is all about. Honoring yourself and your truth. Being open to those opportunities coming in for you. Releasing what needs to be released, let go of, that you need to turn away from in order to take advantage of the opportunities that the universe is bringing in for you. Okay, This is, um, this is actually very positive. Looks like Maine is going to be a good month here. <laughs> and then we have We have the um, judgment card. Being true to yourself, like I said, honoring yourself. What is your truth? Know your truth. Spend that time in um, contemplation, self-exploration. What do you need to do to balance your life out, to um, be true to yourself and honor yourself? Speak your truth. Live your truth. I like this. Okay, We're going to take um, uh, another moonology in closing. And what do we have, Spirit? Clear your mind. Are you taking time? to clear your mind. Let's see what this says. Um, this is the last, last quarter in Gemini, 110. Okay. Here we go. Fretting is a sweet sounding word for feeling anxious. That nine of swords energy. Drawing this card suggests that you or someone close to you is fretting. Are you fretting? Are you spending too much time in that worry? As you already know, this won't help you to move closer to your goals, as it means you're directing thoughts and energy into what you don't want rather than what you want. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Deliberately manifesting a goal comes from a happy place where you feel good. So focus on making a list of your concerns and then talk them through to clear your mind. This is far more likely to bring good results. Manifesting mix. While racing thoughts can be problematic, getting stuck in repetitive thought patterns isn't any good either. Find a balance here. Balancing those energies, finding the balance. 
Getting into a negative rut messes badly with your manifesting ability. Turn that frown upside down. <laughs> I like that. Turn that frown upside down. Huh. Oh, they have um, crystal recommendations, if you'd like. Um, these crystals work especially well for the sign of Gemini. Oh, that's for Gemini, though. We want manifestation crystals. Uh, if you want manifestation crystals, things like um, citrine, tiger eye, uh, uh, aventurine, green aventurine, those kind of things, those um, are good manifesting stones. This is what I have for our Grimlikins Curious Cats for the new moon reading. Um, if you like the reading, hit the like button. Uh, you can hit subscribe if you wish to subscribe to my channel or hit the notification bell to be notified of future readings. I appreciate all the interaction, you guys. When you interact, um, when you hit those buttons, when you make comments, it helps to promote the channel. And I'm just starting out. I haven't been at this very long, so every little bit helps. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. And have a totally blessed month. Love you guys. Bye.